Hello. Good morning, Martin. Good morning. Good morning. And I have been looking forward to this. Y your portrayal of that role of Revi is just <laughs> mind blowing. And of, and and of course, my my beautiful wife says you're also easy on the eye. So there's that too. <laughs> you. I, I just just a captivating role. First of all, let's let's uh, let's officially welcome you to the show. We've yeah. got Ma we've got Martin Rodriguez here, whose transformative portrayal of Rivi in Griselda, currently on Netflix, is absolutely an enigmatic role and and martin you know you've you've been around and you've had uh uh success uh, overseas doing movies i think you're probably new to most americans so i don't want to give any spoilers <laughs> <laughs> but we i am so ready to do a deep dive in, into this character just an absolute unbelievable portrayal so so let, let's let's talk about that first of all how did the role come to be for you well, I came to the project with uh, two auditions, with a long and intense process. Um, the characters in the project were very well defined and with a very clear intention of telling the story that based it on the true story. Um, and then, well, Ribi Ayala is based on a real person uh, who was very close to Griselda. Um, I think when Rivi meets Griselda Blanco, he's completely fascinated by her and he's willing to do anything for her. So the character starts helping her until he becomes her right hand man. No, Rivi is one of the, I think, only people left from Griselda's real life inner, inner circle who is is still around. Were you able to? reach out to him for for part of your research in the character or is your portrayal of him your own interpretation based on what your instincts were telling you well i didn't i didn't have the opportunity to meet him personally um although i got to know him through the uh, documentary he made from prison uh it's called the cocaine cowboys um in the documentary, he tells about how it was all the the facts and what happened in that period. So it was very interesting to know him uh, through the documentary because it's a guy with a very good presence and speak very well and and to know him. Then the beauty of the fiction, you know, we have the possibility to tell a character with license, artistic license, and and many things that you see in the character. Um, one of that was the unpredictability of the character that was necessary because we had to maintain the tension until the end, and and because there was something important to unveil at the end. That's why it was important to unveil it in layers, generation more and more intrigue. So uh, in that point, perspective, we tried to create the, char the character with perspective because as the character process in the series, uh, each moment or history has to do with a sense of unity. That was very important to work on that. You know the bad characters help you understand the human nature uh, right. in, de in depth. So from there, I like to delve deeper into the characters that I choose in terms of their um, sentimentality. And so I read a lot of poetry from that time, um, listened to music, and understood that where was there was a spirit of rebellion that suited the character very well. Yeah, and again, I don't want to do give any spoilers, uh, mm -hmm. but the character, your portrayal of the character, I mean, you know, this is this is a heavy, you know, it, it working in a drug cartel and mm -hmm. you know, you're you're you know, you're you're kind of a bad guy and yet you manage to bring this warm appeal 
and and sexuality and mysteriousness to him uh you know that is is really draws the viewer into the character which was so mind-blowing because on the surface you're thinking hey this is a bad person doing bad things right. but yet you brought such appeal to the character and i think the whole time we were watching i just kept saying you know you're you're stealing the scenes even in the scenes where uh you might not have been speaking just through your nonverbal communication, your mm -hmm. walk, your body language, your facial expression, how you would slouch over. It, it really, it drew the person in, but it showed him as, it showed this real life character as this very multi-dimensional person. And I'm wondering, we know this person, you know, was her right hand man. But of course, it begged to me, the production geek in me, it, it, it begged to me, I, I'm wondering, okay, how much of that character did you bring to life through your interpretation? And, you know, how much was real? You know, where, where, you know, were they involved sexually in real life? Or was he just, was he just her, you know, her right hand man in business and her heavy to take care of business? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I, I hear about the uh, many, uh, psychological traits about uh, that the character express and and for me the actor's job is to elaborate a deep sensorial communication in terms of the character's animosity uh, i mean um, that which animates and condition his whole being that acquire reliefs um behaviors that the actor is willing to communicate um therefore to create a character is to create an expressive logic um a, a new form of enjoyment both for me and for the spectator that behavior is realistic so and, and very personal you know uh that you said and that drags the psychological condition of course but psychological characteristics um are not unique we are we are a compendium of possibilities and uh, the viewers the viewer chose which one to keep what was the, the the most challenging thing for you being on the set and bringing this this person to life well it's a good question um, the biggest challenge uh, was to create a character that did bad things but that you wanted to make friends with, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, right. That was that was a challenge. And acting is, I think, the acting is a, an act of freedom. And no matter how macabre what your character does, the important thing is to give yourself to an artistic act and to go as far as you can to 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 look inside yourself and for that human nature and lend it into the character. So that is the most beautiful thing that the an artist or an actor can do. He has violent situation, match adrenaline, and and he assumes situation with extraordinary ability and becoming very radless and sadistic. Um, but still being endearing. Um, that was the challenge and the challenge of every billion, I think. Yeah. Well, very well done. Challenge, challenge met. Now I have to go back and mm -hmm. see a movie that I have not seen Leo's room from what I could read about Leo's room. That also seems like it was uh, a very interesting character to portray, or I think you probably get to show your chops. I have not seen it yet, but I can assure you, I will be seeing it this weekend. Really? Uh, well, um, yeah, Leo's room was a nice project because it was my first project um, in a movie it was my first character. And and I love that because I start in the world of the movies, entertainment, and and was it's an Uruguayan film. Uh, I have the I have I had I had lucky to know to meet a very good director. Uh, is called Enrique Bukikio. He's an Uruguayan guy. He's, he's my friend now. Um, 
Yeah, it was very interesting to work in that movie because it uh, talked about the identity, how how a person is discovering the his identity, uh, the sexual identity. But uh, I think that is the the sexuality the sexuality is an excuse to discover an, uh, an identity, the whole identity in in his life. Um, it was a nice it was a nice process to film him. I was living in Uruguay about four months and and I met a lot of truly creative people there and um it was my my beginning. So you mentioned uh, how you uh, you had the blessing of working with a great director. It begs the question, is there a specific director or actor you would like to collaborate with moving forward? Well, I think the director is the um, is a bit is it you know in my opinion you your main spectator and mentor of the characters is the director when there is a collaboration there is, this is this can be a creative and very place pleasant journey because there is a common agreement on, on what is your what is the passion of, that moves your character? So you have to make a uh, artistic deal there uh, with with a director. And then in Grisella, Andy Bice is someone who is open to discovering with you, you know, uh, unprecedented forms of humanity that comes that came from the character. And so during the film, we imagined the character together and we always discover something new something that went further yeah it must be amazing i i think during the film process to have the character evolve through those conversations and through those daily shoots and then seeing how maybe something happens and it, maybe it takes you in another direction. I, I, I mean, I've never made a film, but I liken it to uh, when I'm in a recording studio making records. And when you're working with an, a great artist and musicians, uh -huh. at, as a record producer, I, I guess it's similar to what the film director is, because as you're on that journey, you know, you could, right. you could, come, you could come to the project with a certain vision, but then as things start to happen, it's that's the wonder, the, the magic of the creative process. The other things start to happen, which then take you in a different direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The creative, creative of working relationship with the director creates very powerful and unique combinations. Um, I think when you see a good actor in a movie, uh, what you really see is a good relationship, artistic relationship with the director. And because prior to filming, you know, uh, the character doesn't exist for anyone. It's, it's not on the script. It's just a concept. And in, in that joint imagining and eloquence, the character is discovered with the director. Because we're, we're in the, in the Griselda, for example, we were, I love that, because we, we were open to the oddities we discovered and surprises us. And that deserves to be filled that, yes. and, celebra and celebrated because we both discovered something new that we didn't know. That's right. magic. I was just going to say, that's what I call the magic moments. In any, creative right. pro in any creative process, that's when the magic is happening. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, I know we are going to see much more magic from you in the future. I absolutely will bet my my money on it anything you can you can tease us with that uh, we should be looking for from you on the horizon well no i try to live day by day and try to connect with different um, materials that you know after the strike the start the thing is start again so try to keep calm yeah Keep calm and keep mm -hmm. healthy and keep going yeah. forward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Rodriguez, he is currently starring with uh, Sofia Vergara in Griselda, the real life story about a woman in the 70s and 80s who created one of the most powerful cartels uh, in Miami. You can see it on Netflix. Martin, we so appreciate your time and your performance in that role.
Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.